look at all of our land. How beautiful. We still have a ton of land to get here though. Not at all, we should really start China as well. But this war was just so opportune. They lost a bunch of men manpower early on and it looks as if we're able to pack quite a punch. I wish you were in another war as well. But no. Why haven't the pawn from the Commonwealth they integrated Lithuania for some reason? They actually had all, everything they needed. They even had Danzig at that point. At least Britain have a lot of troops that won't come to fight. Yeah, to find a lot though. Britain usually doesn't have that many troops, only 40,000. Poland's 50,000 still around somewhere. And I mean, we still have the Ottomans on our side. Which, I mean, that, that's a lot of troops. And they won, helped us one win, win one battle. Well, helped us. We essentially just won it for them. You're melting again. <laughs> it happens. I don't think it makes that much of a difference because... Well, the Commonwealth doesn't really give you any big bonuses. What government are you? Oh, you're actually still an active monarchy. Too bad, Poland. Too bad. Plus, I mean, in the short term it makes them weaker. In the long term it doesn't really do shit. Doesn't matter if they spend the Diplo points or not. They don't expand enough to really need the Diplo points. Oh, hello. Hello there, dear. I see where you're going. Someone's got a good one to stay in? No, it's not. Well, I might as well. That's clear. It's clear where you're going. We're totally gonna defeat you with our cannon heavy armies. Yes, our armies have that many cannons. They're 50% cannon. <laughs> no, how about you just go on a safari then and go into a desert? Just to harden yourself up and get ready for that hard Swiss sweater that we have. But where are you at now? Somewhere else? Oh god, darn it. No. How much longer? Eight days? Can we hold out eight days? Do we want to hold out eight days? I think we do. Because they're also softening up. It's not like we're the only ones that soften up. Damn it. Why wouldn't you just come in and form a decent line? I guess we're gonna go and run. It happens. Too bad. We didn't have all of our units in from the beginning. Still in Basel. <laughs> Now what are you doing in Basel this long? Hmm. Well, it certainly hurt that battle up there. Oh, it's not the end of the world. At least we can reinforce our losses. Still the fact that we took about three times the losses. It's pretty damn depressing. 
We're doing so well in the other battles. On the other hand, we also had like double their numbers. So that would explain why we're doing well. Ouch. It's a lot of manpower lost. This death march cost us quite a bit. Well, let's go over there. Help the Ottomans in their fight. More conversions! I love it being high piety Sunni is amazing. <laughs> so get used to it. <laughs> oh, get used to the heat of Switzerland. Are you going for it? Are you going for it? He's totally going for it. No? Name. You must destroy the Polish army down there. Come on, we can do it. We can do it together. With united forces. Damn it. Hmm. <laughs> Europe is, is experiencing summer, yes, so it's generally hot. <laughs> oh, holy crap. I hope that they come over. They should. They really, really should. Okay, cool they are. We are gonna win this easily. <laughs> yeah, northern Switzerland is essentially the hotter part. Well, not quite. The southernmost tips of Switzerland are the hottest parts. Because you're also getting like past the mountains there. Peace anybody out yet? You're at medium enthusiasm. No, we don't want to. How is your enthusiasm doing? Holy crap, the enthusiasm dropped. It dropped like a rock. <laughs> I try to stay inside because of allergies. And I try to stay inside because streaming is better inside. But it's still way too hot. Especially once we have like this such an PC that's essentially just heating our entire room. You just got the common sense DLC, why not? It's a very, very nice DLC, I think. Oh, holy crap. The balls are coming, the balls are coming, the balls, the balls, the balls are coming. Need to ready my troops. Need to ready my body for this. Oh, good, they can go directly.
At least we'll be facing them with what? 40,000? Well, on the first it will arrive. My first backup comes on the fourth. Which is bad. It's a couple of days of horrendous losses. But the autumns are coming in as well. I could have forced March, I made it. Wait, never mind, I can't. I don't have forced March yet. Or do I? No, I do. Damn it, I could have. I could have. Me so stupid. Run, Ottomans, run! Run to help us! Please help! Help now! <laughs> oh, God damn it! Coming in on twentieth. August 2nd. I think we can hold out till August 2nd. I'll just win the freaking battle. Doing so much damage. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch, that damage. <laughs> it's been over 37 for the last time. Well, good stuff that I'm not there. You guys and your weather talk. Well, we have enough units to reinforce this shit. To reinforce this shit. A revolt. A reaction. Oh, Chakatai is westernizing. I can't say I mind. Wait. How is he westernizing? He's still in the Nomad group. He's a nomad emirate? What the fuck? Never seen that before. I can get our troops back up one more time at least. The Ottomans are still at high enthusiasm. Strangely enough. Whoa! Brandenburg bounced up to high again. Very annoying. Cold is better than warm? Yes! I actually love my winters. Personally, for me, it could be like fall or winter the entire year round. Just already. Actually putting up a resistance. <laughs> ah. Now 
ouch, an actual rebellion. There those infidels. <laughs> Spray paint the windows. My windows are too large. A real first world problem. You, sir, just have a real true first world problem. My windows are too spacious. <laughs> well, we have a panorama window as well upstairs, but it's covered by a huge ass blind. That you can just roll down from above. It's, what is it, like two and a half meters of blinds? It's really nice. Just need like metal blinds that are outside the window. If you really want to remove the heat from your room, you have to have the blinds outside. Because if they're inside, the heat is still gonna just be trapped between the curtain and uh, your room. And it's not gonna be trapped for long, it's gonna seep into your room as well. As opposed to being blocked right outside. Looks like somebody's gunning for the Ottomans. in there 29th and February 6th not bad guys can get him to force much up there as well I might be overreacting a bit I just want to have all the chance of winning this battle since this war is all about battles Whoa there Ottomans, why are you losing this badly? Guess I wasn't overreacting. I needed each and every single one of them. Nah. Fucking rebels. Fucking rebels. <laughs> Better yet, no windows. <laughs> no, the best is still having windows that have like a lot of overhang. Like have a roof that comes out like way over. So your windows are actually sent essentially in the shadow. Also, I think I want to peace out now. What do you want to give me? Your offer. <laughs> no. Can take two provinces from him. <laughs> uh, but I still, I need to peace out now. 
Because if I don't, it's just gonna... Yeah, it's not gonna turn out well. If I don't peace out now, we're gonna lose. Or start losing. Because our number advantage is dwindling horribly. So, I guess this was way too much effort for two provinces. Especially two fairly bad provinces. Mm, yes. <laughs> the mel blinds at the thing. Maybe one percent. Ah, uh, is no longer a valid rival. That is very sad. Because it probably means that we have no more valid rival to pick from. Nope. Nope. We have nobody to pick. Absolutely nobody. Because as we all know, the Ottomans are certainly not a rival. I'm just gonna send some troops over there. Because I feel like eating some more of China. I feel like eating Chinese today. Still two more techs. I might even start hitting the limit, huh? Defensive ideas. Yes, army tradition, morale of armies, land leader maneuver, which is not that great, but it's something. And then land maintenance. Oh, so good. Good, another 20 stack over here. Those two guys can go on troubles. There. <laughs> Summer to end. Forever. No more summer, please. Training fields. Should have a bunch of potential candidates for some training fields. Down here, or. Down here, Astrogon. Definitely Astrogon. And sorry as well. <laughs> Winter is coming. Ah, winter will be nice. Also, the fact that they are well, they're pretty strong. Take care of my rebels. Faster! Faster, and get me more points for buildings. More money. Points for buildings, also known as money. Money, which I need desperately in order to get more manpower. Their manpower isn't that bad, it's pretty good. 140,000 potentially. We're gaining it at a decent rate, to say the least. Yeah, yeah. Min and Chu. Minky and La 
plan. <laughs> you could so easily just like get everybody in in a massive war versus you. Sure, we're going to come and on because it totally will choose it. It, her. <laughs> I wish I could get another rival. The North Crowd is certainly not gonna cut it. Great Britain and Brandenburg. Brandenburg and Great Britain love to ally people that, that will annoy the shit out of me. Oh my god! Hey there, Scandiland! You will make the next war versus Poland a lot easier. Hmm, <laughs> Hamburg. Yeah, it's a lot closer. It's uh, not that far away from Denmark. Couldn't just drive there, even just take take a train. As not as their rival. Good job. Good freaking job. I would love to attack them together with Scandiland. Scandalous. <laughs> 